Well, I hope you're well, folks, this fine Sunday. I really do. I tell you what, I'm battling today. I'm battling to cover any subjects. I've gone through all the sources I go through everywhere. Can't find anything to talk about. I've only really got this one story, and, and it, it's just something that I seen earlier today. It's not a story. It's, well, it's a story rather than news. I'm just flicking through the TV channels earlier this morning, and I came across a Rock Hudson film. I think it's one of the many he starred in with Doris Day. I never watched any of it. I've seen probably about 40 seconds. But he's talking to a bloke there, bloke's got his back to you. And I heard the bloke's voice and I thought, I'm sure I knew who that is. Anyway, he says to this bloke, I'll tell you what, yes, you can stay for the night. You have the bed and I'll sleep on the settee. And I thought to myself, aye, aye, I bet the bloke was in the know at that time. We wasn't at that time. I bet the bloke thought, I want to be in the bed and I want you on the settee. Don't worry about that. And then I heard the bloke's voice and I thought, I'm sure this is the fella. I don't remember his name. You might know it. I do know it, but I just don't remember it. I think it was the guy, well, he was the guy that starred in The Odd Couple, the TV series, with Jack Klugman or Jack Klugman. He, uh, he was the, the irritating one, the one that was always cleaning up and whatever. I think, I might be wrong, but I think he liked to lift the odd shirt himself. I might be wrong about that, so he might not have minded him. But if he wasn't that way inclined, he'd, he'd want, he wouldn't want rock, rock in the bed, he'd want Rock on the settee. Anyway, they flipped over to Doris Day. I didn't know Doris was in at that time, but I thought, I bet it's a Doris Day film. It looked like a romantic comedy, and he did loads of her, and it all, all of a sudden, Doris comes on the screen. And I thought, I'll tell you what, as well. I think she was married to a couple of people through the years. I thought, I bet her husband, as she was going to work, said, well, I'm away now, uh, lovey. I'm away now for about eight weeks on location. All oh, right, who are you filming with? Rock Hudson. And I bet he thought, oh, well, I'll be all right there. Nothing will happen there. He did, you know, because in that, that days, the old, uh, the golden era of Hollywood, there was loads of affairs. Oh, I, all the main women stars were all going out with the co-stars. It was rife, absolutely rife. But nothing would have happened there between old Doris and, uh, and Rock. There's no doubt about that. They might have played drafts or dominoes or something like that. Done a bit of, you know, well, a bit of anything. But they wouldn't have done that. No, they wouldn't have done that. None of that would have gone on. There'd be no shenanigans there. So old Doris's husband would be safe in the knowledge that Doris had come back, you know, definitely not deflowered. Is that the right word? Defrock, deflowered, isn't it? What does it matter? What does it matter? See, these are the weird thoughts that go through my mind when I see something like that. And I just thought I'd share them, rightly or wrongly. And if lifter of shirts was upset anyone, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to. I couldn't think of an... Uh, probably shouldn't have thought of it. I'll leave it there.